What a smart decision to take an online course. You can weave your course around your lifestyle, no commuting, no extra gas costs, and no having to get to class late in bad weather. There are many advantages to taking an online course, but you still have to keep up with the work, which incidentally is not easier than a face-to-face -face class. As you go through this video, pay careful attention to the things you need to do to prepare, especially reading the syllabus. The syllabus will tell you everything that you need to know to be successful in your course, such as when assignments are due and what readings, research, and discussions are required. Blackboard is a learning management system, or LMS, that Manchester Community College uses to deliver all its online classes. Face-to-face -face instructors use it for grades and may use it for announcements, assignment submission, or discussion boards. Simply go to the Manchester Community College website, click on Quick Links Student Information System. The first time you enter the secure area, you will need your college ID number, including the at sign, found on your registration receipt or from the registrar's office. You will also need your SIS PIN, which is your birthday in month, month, day, day, year, year format. Next, you'll be prompted to set up a new PIN consisting of six numbers. Once you're in the secure area, click on Personal Information, then Student Easy Login Information to get your username and password. Be sure to note your username and password in a safe place that you can access easily, such as in your cell phone. Now that you have your Easy Login username and password, go back to the Manchester Community College website Click Quick Links, Blackboard, fill in your username and password in the login screen and click Login. You'll see all your classes listed under My Courses. Simply click on the course link to access your course. The first thing you'll notice are the navigation buttons located on the left of the screen. Next, you'll notice the Announcements, which is where your course opens. Take a few minutes to click all the buttons to see what's there. Required buttons include Syllabus, Course Content, Discussion Board, Instructor Content, Tools, Library, and Help. Your instructor may add other buttons, such as Websites or Examination. Now go back and click the Syllabus button again. This time, take a few minutes to read your syllabus carefully. It contains all the guidelines you need to follow for the next 8 or 16 weeks. Online syllabi contain four parts. 1. Instructor Policies 2. College Policies 3. Assignment Summary and four, a student contract that you may be asked to fill in and submit to your instructor during the first week of class. Face-to-face -face class syllabi may only contain one section. Ask your instructor if you have any questions about your syllabus. There may be other important information besides your syllabus located at this button. Be sure to read it carefully. The next two buttons after Syllabus lead you to Announcements and Instructor Contact. Some instructors display announcements for only a short period of time, so check in often and read them carefully. Contact Instructor provides you various contacts for your professor, who you should contact immediately if you have any questions about the content of your course. Course content is where the bulk of your course materials are found. Usually content is divided into folders by weeks. Simply click on the folder link, number one, to reveal weekly materials such as instructor notes, assignments, discussion board instructions and links, videos, web links, and other activities. 
click on the individual item links to activate the particular detail, seen to the left of number 2. Remember, you may have to scroll down to access all the links on a page. As you tackle an assignment, you should see the directions and any needed files below the link. Complete the assignment, name it in accordance with your instructor's directions, and save it where you can find it easily. Before you start your course, think about how and where you're going to save your documents. You might want to create a course folder in My Documents where you could file all your documents, assignments, or projects for your course. After your assignment is completed and saved, click on the assignment link at number one above to open the Preview Upload Assignment screen. Click Browse My Computer to attach your assignment file. Add any comments you wish to send to your instructor at number two then click Submit. Next, go to Tools and click on My Grades. You should see a green rectangle containing a white exclamation point adjacent to the assignment name at number 3. This confirms that your instructor now has your assignment. It couldn't be simpler. In online classes, Discussion Board takes the place of class discussion. In face-to-face -face classes, Discussion Board may be used in different ways. When you click on Discussion Board, you'll see a screen that looks much like number one. Each Discussion Board has a link located to the left of any instructions, which when clicked will reveal a screen similar to number two. There you can see the topic link as well as the responses submitted by your peers. To see their submissions, click on the link next to their name. If you wish to reply, simply click the Reply button and fill in the reply form. To create an initial post, click on Create Thread on the top left. Fill in the screen, number 3, paying particular attention to any areas with an asterisk next to them. These are required fields and must be filled in. If not, you'll get an error code when you submit. Finally, click the Submit button at number 4. You'll notice a button labeled Tools. The tools you'll use most often are My Grades and Send Email. At My Grades, you can see your grades throughout the semester. In addition, you can verify that assignments have been received by your instructor via the assignment feature. Remember, final grades are found in SIS, not Blackboard. Send email allows you to send email to your instructor, all students, or select students in your class from Blackboard itself. Simply click on Send Email and choose the recipients. Remember, you cannot receive email in Blackboard. To see your incoming email, simply go to the MCC webpage, Quick Links, Student Email, and fill in your easy login username and password. Then click Log On. From Tools, you can access Announcements, Instructor Contacts, and Discussion Board. In addition, you can access blogs, journals, wikis, and groups if your instructor is using these features in your course. At the library link, you can search MCC's library catalog and journal articles databases remotely at any time, day or night. Enjoy the convenience of being able to do your research at any time it's convenient for you without leaving the comfort of your home. Simply click on the library catalog to search for any books in the Community College Collection or Journal Articles databases to search through the various educational, medical, business, and general databases available to students. If your instructor has not included the Library button, you can still access MCC's library from its website. 
Simply click Quick Links, then Library for access to library catalogs and databases. There's always help. Click on the Help button to find tip sheets and short videos covering assignments, discussion board, grades, email and other tools, groups, plagiarism software, application software, and browser information, test taking tips, wikis, blogs, journals, and much more. Click through the help folders to familiarize yourself with Blackboard's many capabilities. You may also click the help button at the top of each page at number two to access the Distance Learning Support Center. That's Blackboard in a nutshell. Click around your course site, see what's there, and what you'll be required to do during the semester. If you have questions about the content of your course, please contact your instructor. If you have questions about the technical aspects of Blackboard or additional training, please contact MCC's Office of Online Learning. We wish you every success as you start your online journey.